Now, this is what I really want you to understand. To get into the unitive world underneath, underlying and supporting the everyday practical world, there have to be certain alterations in one's common sense. Now, there are certain ideas and beyond these ideas, certain feelings that are difficult to get across, not because they are intellectually complicated, not at all because of that, but because they're unfamiliar. They're strange. We haven't been brought up to accommodate them. In exactly the same way that in past times, people knew that the planets were supported in the sky because they were embedded in spheres of crystal. And if they weren't embedded in spheres of crystal, and of course you could see them because you could see through them, they would fall down on the earth. And now when astronomers finally suggested that there were no crystal spheres, people felt unbelievably insecure. See? They had a terrible time assimilating this idea. Now, do you see what it involves to assimilate a really new idea? You have to do quite a flip. For example, there are some people whose number systems only account for quantities. One, two, three, many. So they don't have any concept of four corners to a table. See, a table has many corners. And a... Uh, pile of pebbles is, in that sense, equivalent in manyness to the four corners of a table. Now, they have difficulty, you see, in beginning to assimilate the idea of counting through and numbering all those corners or all those pebbles. But we've done that. And so, to us, that is perfectly simple. But imagine the kind of mentality, the kind of person to whom that is not simple at all. And now, in exactly the same way, there is here what I'm trying to explain, a new idea that most people don't assimilate. And that is the idea of the total interdependence of everything in the world.